The face is a highly vascular region and it is supplied by major arteries in which facial artery accounts for one of it and other arteries are the transverse facial artery and few arteries of the cutaneous nerve also supplies the face. So the main arterial supply of the face is by the facial artery. So this facial artery is also called as the chief artery of the face. So let's learn about the path and the branches of the facial artery in the face. The facial artery arises from the external carotid artery in the neck at the level of the greater cornu of the hyoid bone. So from the greater cornu of the hyoid bone, it enters into the submandibular region in a looped fashion. So somewhere here, from the greater cornu of the hyoid bone, it forms a looped course in the submandibular region and it enters the face by winding around the lower border of the mandible, that is, at the anterior inferior angle of the masseter by piercing the investing layer of the deep cervical fascia. So see, this is the facial artery that enters in the anterior inferior angle of the masseter by piercing the investing layer of the deep cervical fascia of the neck. So this is the facial artery which is a continuation of the external carotid artery. In the face, the artery passes tortuously in the upward and forward direction at a point at least 1.25 cm later to the angle of the mouth giving a branch called inferior labial artery and then it passes above along to the side of the nose giving a superior labial artery and towards the nose forming a lateral nasal artery and then it ascends along the medial aspect of the eye where it ends by anastomosing with the dorsal nasal branch of the ophthalmic artery. And this terminal part of the facial artery is called as the angular artery. So this is the angular artery, the lateral nasal artery, the superior labial artery and the inferior labial artery. So these are the branches of the facial artery. One is the inferior labial artery, the superior labial artery, the lateral nasal artery and the terminal branch that is angular artery. The inferior labial artery supplies the lower lip. The superior labial artery supplies the upper lip. The lateral nasal artery supplies the ala and the dorsum aspect of the nose. And there are few muscular branches which arise posteriorly. So all these branches arise anteriorly and posterior branches supplies the muscles. Few points to remember. The facial artery forms many anastomoses. Mainly it forms the anastomosis in the midline of the face with the opposite arteries like the inferior labial artery anastomose with the inferior labial artery of the other side, the superior labial artery with the superior labial artery of the other side, the lateral nasal artery with the lateral nasal artery of the other side and so on. At the medial angle of the eye, it anastomoses with the dorsal nasal branches of the ophthalmic artery which is in turn a branch of the internal carotid artery. And talking about the clinical correlation, the facial artery can be palpated to know the pulse as it is a tortuous artery. These pulsations can be felt at the base of the mandible near the anterior inferior angle that means here and about 1.2 cm lateral to the angle of the mouth. And the wounds of the face bleeds profusely because the face is supplied by the main artery that is the facial artery and it is highly vascular. As they bleed profusely, the main important point to note here is they heal quickly. So remember, they bleed profusely and they heal quickly. So guys, this is all about the facial artery which is the chief artery of the face. It has four branches. Inferior labial artery, superior labial artery, lateral nasal artery and the termination branch is the angular artery. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel.